is going to be weakening as it heads our way. But still, uh, you know, it's a big storm impacting the upper Midwest and the plains, as well as parts of the south, Ohio Valley. We still have blizzard warnings for a few states out there. Flood watches, too. Notice the flood watch, though, in parts of Vermont. That's actually because of the milder air moving in that we could see some ice jams on some of the rivers, something we'll be monitoring. But for the most part, a lot of the hazards are for the middle part of the country. All thanks to this storm that is going to slowly push eastward. So while we have high pressure in control, keeping us dry and allowing for the winds on the backside of that system to bring in some mild air, we'll notice the clouds beginning to increase and the warmer air also moving on in. You can see temperatures 50s and 60s to our southwest currently 45 degrees in Boston, 48 in Plymouth, still above average for this time of year. Winds are also light, so it's really pleasant outside despite the cloud cover and a little bit gustier down across parts of the island. So today, expect upper 40s, low 50s out there with that light wind out of the south-southeast. Very mild conditions. Tonight, we stay mild. Temperatures back into the 40s. Could find a few spots in the upper 30s, but with that wind out of the south, we'll notice the clouds also increasing, acting like a blanket. Warmer air moving in over any snowpack could also allow for some fog and some low visibility. So just keep that in mind if you're going to be traveling. Tomorrow, the clouds stay with us. It's breezy, warm, and that front gets closer, meaning spotty showers and temperatures getting a little gusty at times. That will help push temperatures into the upper 50s to low 60s. So it's going to be off and on showers. There will be some dry times. You'll notice a lot of clouds around, perhaps even a few breaks. Noticing by Friday morning, 8.30 here, more clouds than showers, but the risk will continue through the midday hours. In fact, don't be surprised. It's one of those days you just may need your umbrella if you're going to be stepping out for lunch or during the afternoon. Even the evening drive, clouds around, a few breaks, but a shower can't be ruled out. As that front gets closer later Friday evening, I think we'll see a concentration of some steadier showers arrive, maybe even a rumble of thunder. And it looks as though most areas across southeastern Massachusetts could see some of that heavier rain. But we'll have to watch because sure enough, there could be a rogue shower that goes to the north and west as well. So as for the amount of rainfall, very minor trace amounts. But where we see the steadier rain, we could see anywhere from a half an inch or more in some spots. If you're thinking about hitting the slope spring forecast here, Temperatures in the 50s. Again, watch for some spotty showers on your Friday. A snow shower possible on Saturday, getting a little bit windy. And that wind will bring in cooler weather. So breezy for Sunday, but back to near normal conditions as temperatures will be in the 30s. So here's that front late Friday. Noticing coming on through. That will bring in the cooler air as we head into the weekend. But still mild enough on Saturday despite those windy conditions. And sure enough, much cooler for your Sunday. But guess what? That's what we normally see this time of year. Temperatures in the 40s. So we'll go from 50s on Saturday, 40s on Sunday. Looking pretty good for the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Boston if you're going to be headed there. Starts at 1 o'clock, of course. We'll see those temperatures in the lower 40s. Looks as though we stay there as we head into next week. So watching a system that could be passing to our south on Monday. But overall, looking fairly quiet. Kate?